Hello and welcome to Ops and Bros, and this week, Ops and Bros Arvestel V3. Cue the B roll. So over the past weekend, we had the opportunity to launch for a third time in three years, the third version of the Ops and Bros Arvestel. And this one is a very special one, as we always do say here on the show on Ops and Bros, because we actually gave it a nice modern twist, which wasn't really the plan at first. So we sat down together with Max, with Nick from Tuk Debu, and we built up, revamped the recipe to a new uh, I guess a new standard or a new standard for the Ops and Bros Arvis Dell. As you might know, we also had a couple of issues with the Arvis this year, which made us lose part of our Cascade crops and only left with the Nugget, which is not harvested yet. So you might say, but why Chris are you saying that you're putting your own Ops in there? So what happened is on brew day, we harvested the whole hops, we were planning on adding them wet which was a first for the Ops and Bros Arvis Dell. But again, it got infected with aphids and we weren't able to use them in the brew. A farmer in the surrounding areas of the Tsuk de Brewery out there in Embrim was able to give us for the Arvis Dell freshly harvested triple pell Ops, which give it such a nice twist that I now I'm jealous. I want some triple pell here on the up yard. I know there's not room left and my girlfriend's probably gonna kill me if I do more of those hop harvest things but um yeah I might try to get my hands on one of those Trepapel hops because it gave it so much nice background to this beer. But this beer also means how strong the YouTube beer community is and how fast we've grown over the last three years. Um, it represents pretty much all the hard work that we put into this channel, but also all the knowledge that we gained from it and the fantastic meetings that we had, the new friends, everything is just all there in this beer. So more about the recipe. Max decided with Nick to add some oats to it to create that nice, more creamy, fluffy fill out of it. You might be curious, but yes, we put some haze in there. Want to see it? So as you can see, it poured nice silky with a nice yellow tint to it. It's bright, it's boosted with fruity aromas. Love the peach background that you have in there. A little bit of the green melon, nice white fluffy head on top. It's present, it's there, but once you get a little bit more into the beer, you do get a little bit of that resinous pine citrusy finish 
that's in there on the nose. It's tingly, you know, it gets you right there. You see that it's fresh, that the hops used in there are fresh. Which, by the way, was dry hop with Mosaic and Idaho 7 this year. Boom, I know, we haven't done that in the last batches and yeah, maybe we'll do it again. We're kind of stirring off the fact that we use only local hops, but hey, it's very cool and I love the new version. Now I've just come to realize that I'm probably a little bit biased talking about this beer. Eh, I have a few. Got some friends reviewing it for you guys. What do you think about that? Back to the beer. Back to it. I'm just too excited. I don't know why, but um, the mouthfeel on it is just nice. It's round, it's silky. Uh, a little bit of the dryness from the hops is there. It's present, but it gives you the opportunity to just take another sip, bite into it a little bit more, and I really, really enjoy it. It's, it's fantastic. I only have a 2.4. We'll probably run out of it. Oh, we'll run out of it. We always run out of it. And on the finish, you get that nice little signature touch that I think Idaho 7 has. A little bit of that green melon that kind of like mills down the bitterness. It's still present. It still has some of that bite. Not too green. I enjoy that because sometimes some beers get a lot of that green op character to it. It's very subtle. The bitterness is just well balanced and from the alcohol level, I think it's a well, easy, maybe too easy to drink beer. Oh my god, I just feel too biased about this one. So I won't bother you guys more about it. Uh, if you have the opportunity to grab one of those cans, it's available in the Ottawa region for the next month. Might run out faster, I don't know. Check out Truc de Brewery website if you want more info about it or just get in touch with us and maybe we can hook you up with more info about it. So if you guys would like to support more of what we do, I just want to reiterate that we have fantastic merch available. Support the show, buy a t-shirt, buy a sweatshirt, buy a tank, buy whatever you'd like. They're comfy. I know mine is in the washer right now, so I can't wear it, but it's also a great way to support local artist, David Buist that made the artwork behind the t-shirt. So as always, thanks a lot for watching guys. Fantastic, fantastic little beer that we were able to do for a third time in a row. Thanks to you guys who's watching. This one's for you. Cheers.